Shakti CSI for giving me the opportunity to present my study. The title of my study was Efficacy of Oral Signalafil on Cardiopulmonary X-ray Tolerance in Children and Young Adults after Fountain Operation. The so objective was to see changes in functional capacity with cardiopulmonary exercise testing after sildenafil therapy with the help of peak VO2 consumption in patients with fountain operation. So we all know the fountain operation is a unique unphysiological circulation. So single ventricle support the systemic circulation and uh, venous blood flow passively to the pulmonary vascular bag. So a patient get relief from uh, chronic sinuses and uh, uh, ventricle volume overload but at the expense of living without a supplementary ventricular support. And there is also diminished cardiac filling and diminished cardiac output, which uh, therefore PVR become very important for uh, passive blood flow across the pulmonary circuit. And the drug uh, which help in reducing the PVR are being explore, uh, explored, uh, which will help in improving card, uh, uh, exercise performance. So Sildenafil is a phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor. It increases in the intracellular uh, cyclic GMP and exerts a uh, selective vasodilatory effect on pulmonary uh, vasculature. It has a well-proven role in reducing pulmonary vascular resistance in both adults and children. Previous literature has also su suggested that uh, vasodilator like sildenafil can be helpful in decreasing PVR in both adult and children with content circulation. Thus, keeping in view the limited data on the subject, we plan to conduct this study to test the efficacy of sildenafil in young adults with content circulation uh, by testing uh, cardiopulmonary excite tolerance. So study area, uh, uh, it, it is a prospective non-randomized uh, international study, which was done uh, during a pre-training period at uh, Department of Pediatric Cardiology and Department of Physical Rehabilitation at Kokelab and Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital, Mumbai. Written an informed consent was obtained from patient and from parents of participants. Uh, study uh, population, patient of either sex who have undergone fountain operation and have completed in one year after operation and were on follow-up in our OPD. So the sample size calculated was 53 patients, but uh, during the uh, due to the pandemic situation, we could only enroll to 24 patients during that time. So, and all calculations were uh, done uh, uh, as per the current sample size. So the inclusion for criteria was children and young adults, 12 to 30, uh, 30 years of age with single ventricle congenital heart disease after the fountain operation who completed one year after surgery and who were healthy and were able to carry out day-to-day -day activities without functional limitation and are following up in our OPD. Exclusion criteria, the patient with following factors are excluded, uh, who have uh, implantable pacemaker, residual cardiac lesions, uh, fountain or, uh, or conduit or, or obstruction, single lung fountain connection, uh, severe renal or hepatic dysfunction, abnormal heart rhythm, uh, subject with baseline saturation uh, less than 90% or, or who had a fenestration in the uh, circuit, and patient who refused to give consent. So total of 24 patients who were fulfilling our criteria uh, uh, were enrolled. Uh, the baseline screening uh, was done, uh, which includes the clinical examination, ECG, X-ray, and 2D echocardiography. After enrollment, patient underwent cardiopulmonary exercise testing at the beginning, and thereafter received six weeks of sildenafil therapy. Uh, a patient less than 20 kg, uh, 10 mg uh, uh, thrice daily uh, sildenafil was given, and patient more than 20 kg, 20 mg uh, uh, sildenafil was given th uh, thrice daily. Patient was told to report any side effect during this period. The subject again underwent uh, cardiopulmonary exercise test at the end of six weeks. So out of 24 patients, four patients lost to follow up as they could not come for follow up. So uh, the measurement which were done at rest were heart rate, respiratory rate, and oxygen saturation and blood pressure. Metabolic and ventilatory data was obtained through the exercise study, uh, throughout the exercise study, and for the first two minutes after recovery by uh, by breath to breath basis uh, with a met metabolic cart. So subject were exercised to uh, maximal volition with the uh, treadmill er ergometry uh, with British Columbia Children's Hospital protocol in which the incline stay at a constant one percent grade and starting speed is two miles per hour and it increased 0.5 miles per hour every minute until uh, volitional fatigue for a maximum duration of 20, uh, 21 minutes and the maximum speed was uh, 12 miles per hour. So outcome measured were a maximum of peak minute oxygen for consumption due to a, at anaerobic threshold, respiratory oxygen ratio, oxygen pulse and uh, uh, chronotropic index. Heart rate and rhythm was monitored continuously. Uh, blood pressure was measured at rest and every three minutes during exercise and re recovery. 
uh, standard uh, 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 appropriate uh, statistical uh, tests were applied and p-value less than 0.05 were considered statistically significant. Any adverse event was collected and to ensure drug compliance, patient was asked to return empty paper, uh, empty wrappers of medication. Come to results. So uh, the mean age uh, was 17 years, 62% uh, were male and age at fountain completion was 10 years and 50% were left ventricular morphology and there was no uh, right ventricular morphology patient. So in both the groups, at, at rest in both the group, group uh, the, the parameter was comparable. Uh, at peak exercise, there, there was a significant difference between the, uh, the VO2. Um, uh, pre cell dinafil, it was a mean of 28.6, uh, which has increased significantly to 32.6 uh, uh, ml per kg per minute. Uh, respiratory exchange ratio also increased and also oxygen pulse has increased significantly. At anaerobic threshold also the peak, uh, the VO2 has increased significantly. There is no significant difference in peak VO2 between the left ventricle and mixed ventricle group at baseline and after sildenafil therapy. We did not observe any adverse effect of sildenafil in, in our patients. So, uh, so this is a tempo trial uh, uh, which also holds similar results. So they examined the efficacy of Bosentan in Fontan patients. So 75 patients were enrolled and uh, uh, they saw the cardiopulmonary, uh, uh, the peak oxygen con consumption, cardiopulmonary exercise test time and the function class. All, all three were improved up after the Bosentan uh, therapy for 14 weeks. And there were no serious adverse effects. The study done by Goldberg et al, they uh, done a double blind uh, placebo control crossover trial uh, and uh, they, uh, the, their six week of sildenafil therapy was given and they found there was no change in, in oxygen consumption during the peak of, uh, exercise. And the, uh, the, this was a uh, study done by Mark Shuring uh, where they uh, uh, saw the impact of Washington on, on exercise capacity in adults after fountain operation. And uh, there also they did, did not found any uh, uh, change after, after the Bosentan in the patient, fountain patients. So uh, come to lim limitation, the sample size is small. Our cohort received sildenafil only for six weeks. Long-term safety and efficacy of sildenafil was <laughs> not studied. And to conclude, uh, cardiopulmonary exercise capacity is impaired in patient with fountain completion. The study demonstrates sildenafil therapy improves measure of peak and some maximal exercise performance in patient with fountain operation. Sildenafil therapy is safe and there was no adverse effect in our cohort. Thank you. I congratulate you. It's a very good study. Uh, I think uh, this is a non-randomized trial. Probably you can uh, recruit more patients. You continue your study, and then probably you can apply for the PCSI grant. We applied, sir. We already received. So uh, I think these kind of studies are very much needed indeed uh, to see the other things. Or alternatively, you can uh, take the other heart disease uh, where you can't give anyway children of ill, like a post operative rheumatology fellow and all like the control group. You can do that. You can have three subjects to have the control. Very good. Sir. Any questions? Thank you very much.